What's up gamers? Welcome back to my channel. It is time for another premium shop refresh video. As much as I have serious beef with the premium shop, I am always really excited to film these videos. I have hope in my heart that one day we will be able to enjoy the premium shop and not be super mad about all of the pricing, which we're going to talk about a little bit more today. But for now, let's go ahead and see what's new in the shop. All right, you guys, it looks like this week we had three repeats, which I am actually really surprised about because I feel like we just got the update. <laughs> we just had, um, I think, what was it? Three weeks of mostly new products. So for this week, we do have the castle house skin is back or the palace, I should say for 3,750 Moonstones. I do already own this one. I actually own three out of the four things here. Um, I know that the palace is a favorite for a lot of people and that uh, a lot of people are gonna be excited that it's back, so I am glad to see it there. We also have the Touch of Arendelle corner set <laughs> that includes the cup and emblems hanger, painted corner counter and painter corner cabinet for whatever reason this corner cabinet is a darker color I don't know why um, and it doesn't look like that has changed but for some reason this looks a little bit different to me now I'm gonna have to check I do already have this so I'm gonna have to look at it and see if it looks different but for whatever reason it looks different to me now still really cute I really like this whole set um, so this corner set is 1,200 Moonstones, and then the Touch of Arendelle kitchen set that has the stove and these two counter, or the counter and the cabinet, this is 1,500 Moonstones. And then the only new thing that we have this week is the Rainy Day Essentials 2. So this is another set of skins for your umbrella. And it looks like this is a an Incredibles theme. And then this one, I don't know, what would we call that? Just pink and purple, okay. I was gonna say like it's a Cheshire cat themed, but no, we're just calling it pink and purple. Which is cute and everything, but definitely not worth spending the Moonstones in my opinion. I would really, really love the option to customize our own umbrellas but I think the reason that we can't do that yet is because they really want for us to buy these skins. All right and to just give you the breakdown of the actual cost in real dollars we have the house skin is about $13. The rainy day essentials too is about four to five dollars. The touch of Arendelle corner set is four to five dollars. And the Touch of Arendelle Kitchen is a little more than $5. So this is honestly one of the cheaper weeks in the premium shop. Now, the topic of paywalls, the cost of moonstones, and the type of content that will be monetized in the future in Dreamlight Valley is a touchy one. I had a lot of comments in my last couple of videos about what we're going to be paying for in the future, and I wanted to talk a little bit about that. I saw a lot of people saying that monetization will only be for cosmetic items and things that don't impact the main storyline or the base game. This is partially true. I did mention in my last video that I think some major updates in the future are going to be behind a paywall and a lot of people were really upset about that. I did some digging and I want to share with you what I found. So on the Game Loft website in regards to Dreamlight Valley, this is what they had to say about their monetization. During the early access period, several updates will be released adding new characters and story content for free. When the game is out of early access, we will continue adding new characters and story content for free on a regular basis. Now, here's where things get a little bit tricky. They go on to say that after early access, we have plans to add paid expansions that will add significant content to the game. These optional expansions will add new content, including characters, to the base game. However, we are currently focusing on developing a great, complete experience first. So my takeaway from this is that yes, you could totally play this game without ever spending a dime on Moonstones when the game goes free to play. 
but I do think that these significant expansions will include things like realms, characters, and possibly even new islands and or biomes. I also want to note that I believe these expansions are different and separate from the dream bundles we're seeing now. I hope that clears up confusion about what is going to be behind a paywall and what won't be. I know not everyone loves when I compare this game to The Sims 4, but you could download The Sims 4 and play it right now for free if you want. But if you want any of the fun expansion packs that give you new features and clothing and furniture that you can't get in the base game, you're going to have to pay for those. That all being said, I don't necessarily think that expansion packs or cosmetic items that cost moonstones are a bad thing. It's definitely to be expected, and I'm totally willing to pay for content expansions in the future. I'm just concerned that if they want $13 for a house skin, that they're going to be charging a ridiculous amount for these expansions. Especially now that I've seen what they give you for $14 to $15 in a dream bundle. It's really lackluster, in my opinion. Let me know what you guys think about the premium shop items this week, if you purchase anything, and what you think of future expansions. I would love to read your thoughts and predictions in the comment section. If you enjoyed the video today, do consider giving it a like, subscribing to my channel, and turning on notifications. It's a free way to support my channel and help me grow here on YouTube. As always, my Twitter, Discord, and memberships are all linked in the description for you to check out. I hope you have a magical day today, friends, and I will see you again real soon. Bye!